lecture I am going to discuss what how to create your diagram in dweaver so let's open the dweaver so here I am using community version of dweaver you can also use the ultimate so first here to create the your diagram you need to go on this file then after click on this new then here you can see this list that's come there dashboard database connection database project let's use your ear diagram then you need to click on this next after that here let's write erd underscore employees so going to create the uh, ERD, ear, ear diagram for employees okay so after that let's click on this finish so here that's ERD that's so created after that here you can see this is ORC here you can select the schema let's select here HR here tables so this tables that's present there so now I'm going to use here so here employees so you can see this is the employees so table is there and uh, here after let's so uh, drag the new EMP so here you can see automatically or uh, that link that is stabilized between these two so here or department ID that's linked with the DPT number so this is the foreign key is there okay so both table that's linked now let's uh, drag here DPT so DPT is not linked with any table so if you want to link to this so this is one two three and here going to link with this dpt number so this is asking what or table hr new dpt reference to new emp and here unique name this is or comes there and columns then this is number this is also a number let's click this ok so now you can see this new EMP and new DPT that's table that's linked with the help of primary key and foreign key. So here you can see this is so uh, linked there. And after that, here if I drag this department, so department has already uh, referenced with uh, employees. If I click there, then you can see this is linked with the department ID. Here is the primary key, here is the foreign key. So this is the most simplest way we can create the ear diagram by drag and drop method. So like this according to your project requirement then you can use the tables. So here new DPT, new EMT and if I uh, drag the reason. So one or, or, or link with this reason ID. So here you can see there is no any reason name reason ID is there. So let's so uh, leave this one because so it, and here let's track their jobs. So here you can see mean salary, max salary, job title. That's all come there. So if you want, then you can make the relationship with. So here you can see job ID reason ID that going to link with. So let's click on this. Okay, this two tables that's linked. So with the help of ER diagram we can easily analyze which tables are linked with the another tables so we can uh, easily understand the relationship between the tables with the help of ER diagram so this is the one ER diagram that's created after that right right click there then you can save this ER diagram so you can save anywhere so here you can see this is png format here gif this or format ERD format according to requirement you can save this the files let's say here here png and click on this save so do you want to open the exported so let's click on yes so here you can see this is the files this is the ear diagram that's created so this is png format okay so this so you can use this in your project so this is the one day Another way is there if you want to or see the ER diagram of uh, this entire tables. Okay, so here you can click on this view diagram. So this is now 
displaying the ER diagram on HR schema. Okay, so here you can see employees that's linked with the departments and department that's linked with the location, location with link with the countries and employees that's linked. So there is a relationship among the tables so that it's uh, displaying the ER diagram there. So there is another thing if I right click then you can see this all those things that's come there. Here font back color set color you can change this place and uh, here so attributes so if you want to see only primary key click there here it you can see only primary key on the tables that's displaying primary key is there so if table has not primary key this is so uh, displaying blank and this table has the primary key so it's so uh, displaying or the primary key department id location id this all and thereafter the next is arrange diagram let's click there and here so attributes another thing is any case none so all case if you want then you can see here all the case there important case so let's so select here all so all uh, that selected primary key unique key and none key that's also displaying there okay so this is the most uh, simplest way we can create the ER diagram in a db paper so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you